This was the first episode of Star Trek to air after The Next Generation ended. The Julian Christopher was among the actors who were considered for the role of Worf on The Next Generation, before Michael Dorn was cast. This episode was directed by Avery Brooks. This is the first episode of DS9 to be directed by a cast member. The discussion Gullivec is referring to happened when O'Brien contacted him for assistance in exterminating a colony of Cardassian voles which had made their home aboard Deep Space Nine. This episode marks the first appearance of Cardassia Prime on Deep Space Nine. It previously appeared in the Next Generation 2 Parter, Chain of Command. Parts 1 and 2 in December 1992. The production designer Herman F. Zimmerman has said he took inspiration in the set design from George Orwell's book, 1984. About Cardassia, he remarked, Spartan uncompromising and merciless are all adjectives you could use to describe Cardassia. The plot of the episode was based on a statement made by Gull Ducat in the episode, The Maquis Part 2. On Cardassia ER, the verdict is always known before the trial begins, and it's always the same. Ira Stephen Bill later said, that one line gave us the concept for the whole episode. Andrew Robinson compared the Cardassian mindset to the more primal parts of the human brain, saying it knows what boundaries are, and how to take care of itself so that the species survives. Cardassian philosophy places order above both freedom and equality, the product being an Orwellian society where the good of the state is placed above that of the individual. The character of, Kovat explains this philosophy in his defense of the legal system when he says, Whatever you've done, whatever the charges against you, none of that really matters in the long run, this trial is to demonstrate the futility of behavior contrary to good order. And